One of the first things I want to address is concealed carry. I see a lot of people concealed carrying and politics play big into it. Like the, a lot of people on the right love concealed carry. A lot of people on the left don't. But there's, there's crossover. Like, I don't want to talk about politics at all. Politics disgust me. I hate politics. What's going on, everybody? Evil Foo here. And as I've been doing my uh, fitness journey, I'm up here where I take my uh, weekly ruck hikes up here. Um, as I've been getting back into shape and getting ready to go back into my normal career, I've been getting back into uh, firearms and weapons and kung fu and things. Uh, I've kind of left that part of my life behind me for a few years while I was depressed and out of shape and fat and old. But I'm getting back into my myself again. Uh, so I've been watching a lot of videos and reading things and I see a lot of disturbing crap on YouTube and I don't watch TikTok or anything. I'm sure there's even more disturbing crap on TikTok. Um, but so I just want to kind of address some of that stuff and give you my thoughts on that. This is going to be a series of videos. I'm going to call this uh, combat boots and booty shorts. You can probably see why because these are when I do my hikes or my out shooting or something like that. It's hot. I'm wearing shorts and I got my combat boots on. <laughs> uh, I don't normally dress like this in real life. This is for my hikes and when I'm working out and stuff like that. One of the first things I want to address is concealed carry. I see a lot of people concealed carrying and politics play big into it. Like the, a lot of people on the right love concealed carry, a lot of people on the left don't. But there's, there's crossover, like I don't want to talk about politics at all. Politics disgust me, I hate politics. But uh, I would probably just, looking at how the, the, large, the vast majority of things are, I'm not one extreme or the other by any means. But I'd say I'd probably lean more to the left than to the right, but I'm a lover of guns. I've carried firearms professionally for over 20 years now, but in my day-to-day -day life, even longer. Like, I'm in my mid-40s now. Um, I bought, uh, I think I had a shotgun. I'm pretty sure I had a shotgun when I was 18, and I bought my first handgun in, I was in Washington State. Washington State, I don't know if that's countrywide. I should probably know, but I don't. But um, you had to be 21 to buy a handgun. So I bought my first handgun when I was 21, got a concealed carry permit. Uh, so I've always carried a gun with me pretty much anywhere I've been in the world. Unless I've been on like vacation somewhere where no guns are allowed, but uh, I've always had a gun with me. So I, I definitely believe in everyday carry. But some people are not just cringy, but they're fucking paranoid maniacs carrying guns that probably shouldn't be carrying guns. Like I saw a post just recently on uh, Twitter. This guy, or I, I don't know if he did a TikTok and, and linked it to Twitter or whatever, but it was this guy talking about how he was doing his daily walk. He walks on a walking trail in whatever town he's from. And remember, it's open to the public and it's a walking area. There's people walking on there, specifically exercising bikes, hikers, runners, walkers. So he's walking along and he sees a guy coming towards him on the other end of the trail, which it's a public trail, so there's gonna be other people. And this guy's coming closer and closer to him. And so this guy, instead of just walking, if you wanna be uh, aware of what this guy's doing, okay, yeah, keep him in your peripheral vision or whatever, be aware of what is going on, but keep just keep walking. But no, this guy, freezes in place, goes to get his concealed carry uh, gun out and has his hand on the gun when the guy comes up to him. He's ready to shoot and kill this guy. And the guy's like, oh, cool shirt, man. He had like a band shirt on or something like that. Cool shirt, man. And the guy just keeps walking. And this guy was bragging about how, yeah, uh, good thing I had my concealed weapon today. I almost had to kill somebody. That's fucking crazy. I carry a gun, like I said, everywhere I go pretty much. Like right now, even in my little, I just did a little hike right here. So I got my little... I have a little tiny pocket pistol in my, my pocket here. Uh, if I don't have my pocket pistol with me, I'll have a, like I use a little, a small revolver. I don't carry like a full size gun or anything like that. I just carry a little tiny gun. And those are not for if someone's walking towards me on a trail and I'm gonna have to kill him because he's getting close to me. These are for one in a million chance things. Like I'm in a convenience store and someone goes in there and they're robbing the convenience store or something like that. They're killing the clerk. They just happen not to see me. I was in the back row or something like that, so I can get my gun out and kill this person, end the threat, stop the threat, whatever you want to say. Um, or, you know, someone's killing people with a gun. I want to engage and end that threat. I want to stop that person from killing people. It's not for if someone looks at me the wrong way, or I think someone's going to beat me up, or it's not even if I think somebody's going to mug me. I'm not just going to automatically pull out a gun. That's fucking crazy. First of all, I have my voice, I have words, I can handle myself with my words. 
I'm physically able to stop threats if I have to. You know, I can engage them with what I call kung fu. That's any form of fighting. I can, you know, physically man manipulate them to the point where they would stop. Worst case scenario, say I do find myself tied up into a human pretzel by some jujitsu or MMA or somebody beating the crap out of me, and I feel like I'm going to expire. I'm going to die. I I'm still not going to pull out my gun, most likely. I always carry a knife with me as well. You should always carry a knife just for, and you might come across a cardboard box you have to open, but knives are a good tool. They've been a valid tool since the Stone Age, so have a knife. But, uh, you know, say I'm being choked out or something like that. At that point, and I think I'm going to die, I might pull out my knife and I'm not going to stab the guy in the eye or slice his throat or his femoral artery or something like that, I cut his groin. I'm just going to disengage, I'm going to disable the limb that is attacking me. Say, you know, he's choking me out or something like that. I might just disable that arm just to create an opening so I can get away, you know, and react more accordingly. Then hopefully go back down to my voice and controlling the situation. Maybe I have to push the guy down, maybe restrain him until the police can come, something like that. But I'm not going to sit there and shoot a stranger or something dumb like that. I'm not going to stab somebody up over that either. I'm just going to, like I said, I would disable whatever limb they were using. Uh, someone's on top of me, ground pounding me, and I feel like I'm going to die. Maybe at that point, I would have to pull out a gun and end that threat. And you don't shoot the wound. You stop to end the threat. You shoot until you feel safe. So I would, you know, end that threat. So if you know, you're on the ground, they're on top of you, and you have to shoot, and you just, you just keep shooting until that threat is ended in your mind. So you feel safe. That's the main thing. When you want to feel safe. But you definitely shouldn't be pulling out guns to just... Now someone looks at me in a weird way. I'm going to shoot them. Oh, that, I don't like the way that person's dressed over there. Or like, this plays into a big too. I mean, well, religion too. But race. Oh, I see, a, I see a group of black guys. I see some Asians or some Hispanic guys coming. I'm going, to, I'm going to pull out my gun. I don't feel safe. We're all fucking people, man. We're all people. Who cares what color we are? That's so stupid. I also see these tactical mall ninjas. Um talk about all these different things they carry um, you know they carry their gun they carry multiple magazines like you carry I carry so many backup magazines you carry I carry two magazines at all times like I'm for a revolver you can carry a speed load or something like that that's a little overkill I think um, you're not fighting a world this isn't the apocalypse in the apocalypse is a totally different situation you want to have all kinds of shit with you but you're just a, a regular person out in the regular world you don't need to protect yourself against every threat there is. If you did, you have to walk around a big fucking plastic bubble everywhere you went. You have like a 10 foot bubble around you. Nobody touch you and things like that. You can't protect against everything. Just relax and be a normal person. Stop being so fucking paranoid because your paranoia and craziness is making everybody else on edge. Just relax, be a person. You don't want to interact with people. Don't want to talk to people. You don't want to follow societal norms. Stay the fuck at home. Do your angry, tweeting on the internet make some angry videos ah, about how the world's not fair but don't go out in public and be all fucking paranoid and making people uneasy and then those are the people that are gonna they're, they're all nervous they're gonna pull out their gun they're gonna shoot somebody by mistake they're gonna shoot themselves they're gonna fumble their gun out and somebody's gonna take that gun away and shove it up their ass and kill them just calm down be a normal person relax but with this series i'm going to start talking about um some self-defense basics for i'm gonna do it with a funny um slant to it hopefully hopefully funny it's funny to me um for focus more on geeks i'm a geek um so i'm gonna i'm gonna do some self-defense videos like how to you know introduction of firearms introduction to you know hand and this is my little remote for the camera over there but a hand-to-hand -hand combat um edged weapons what to do in certain scenarios things like that i might even review guns and do some shooting things like that but uh, this is going to be a new series. I, I might need to do a new channel. I don't really think I have a big enough following on my YouTube channel where I'd have to do a new channel. I could just probably rebrand if this becomes the primary focus. I still want to talk about games and movies, so I want to do both. If I can't do them all on the same channel, um, we'll figure something out. But I've been wanting to make these videos for years and years and years and years. Way before I was ever into YouTube or even watched YouTube, really. I wanted to start making YouTube videos when I was living in Vegas. Um, but I never had the time over there. I worked way, way too much. And I played Battlefield 4 way too much. But... Um, yeah, I'm going to start doing these, so hopefully you enjoy it. If you do, share it. Sharing is, a, is huge. Put a comment in there. That will help the algorithm, but share it. Let some people get some eyes on it, and I'll continue making these. All right, and just to wrap up, guys, what I'm trying to say is there's a difference between being you know, aware of what's happening and vigilant against things that could happen, being prepared for things that can happen, and then being a paranoid maniac. If you're just going about your day-to-day -day life, you're going down to the grocery store, you're going out to the movies, whatever you're doing you're going on a date you're not going to fight combat you're not you're not a soldier you're not in combat the apocalypse hasn't happened 
There's not all kinds of bad people out there to get you. They're not going to take your children and groom them. Okay, the world is not that bad of a place. Well, some places in the world are. But I'm talking about mainly the United States, America. So, yeah, you know, take a take a small weapon with you to be prepared. You know, take a take a gun, take a take a knife. I don't think you need to carry backup, uh, you know, magazines and bullets and like a, a flashlight and a expandable baton and pepper spray and knives and all. But you should always have a knife too. Always, always have a knife. Knives are good. If nothing else, always carry a knife. But um, and also remember the threshold for self-defense is going to be different. I'm not a huge guy or anything like that. I'm pretty big and I know how to take care of myself. So my threshold of danger is going to be a little bit different than someone else that says 130 pounds or something like that. Or if you're, you know, you're fragile or you're, you're weak and nothing against you, but you're just weak. If you're elderly, something like that, sickly. Yeah, your, your thresh, threshold of self-defense or violence, whatever you want to say, decisive action is going to be a lot lower than mine. But, um, don't go out there looking for trouble. If you go out and leave your house looking for trouble, you're convinced the world's a bad place, you're going to run into bad things, you probably are. But guess what? You're the asshole in that situation because you're the one that went out there looking for that trouble. That trouble's not going to find you the million to one shot in day-to-day -day life, all right? Most of the time you go out in your life, you're never going to have to pull your gun out or anything like that. And remember, a gun is not to pull out for an argument or you don't like the way someone's dressed, you don't like the way the race of somebody, you don't like the way they're talking, something like that. You see a group of uh, thugs or whatever you want to call them they look like trouble you see something suspicious avoid it go around it don't go towards the problem and try and start some shit don't care out and start something just so you're looking for an excuse to shoot somebody guess what once you do shoot somebody you have to deal with that for the rest of your life it's some people love it some people become sickos and they want to kill more but it's not something we should be looking at as a person use your voice use your words avoid trouble when you can and don't try and prepare against every fucking scenario. You don't need an assault rifle and a shotgun and a pistol and a revolver and all kinds of extra bullets and body armor on to go out to the grocery store, okay? Take a little, you know, take a knife, take a small pistol, a small revolver. Make sure you're trained with them, you know how to use them. So if you do have to use them, you're not gonna get it taken away and shoved up your own ass. But don't go out looking for trouble, that's ridiculous. And again, remember, keep your kung fu evil. I hate to see you go. I love to watch you leave. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. I'ma just grab my stuff and leave. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Nope. <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. Oh.